Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Glitch, where we cover the top news each and every day. The first of Dishonored 2's free updates is now available on Steam in a beta release. This update includes a New Game Plus mode, which will give you access to both Emily and Corvo's abilities, as well as all runes and bone charm traits collected through your previous save, which can be reassigned to different powers. That's right, the New Game Plus mode will let you mix and match all available abilities, no matter which character you decide to test out this time around. So if you want to play a disgustingly beautiful Mod Podge of powers, check out the update updates beta available now on Steam. The official release of this update will be on December 19th across all platforms, so non-PC players won't have to wait much longer. Another PC exclusive news, yet another expansion is coming to Age of Empires 2, a game that released 17 years ago. Just last year, the African Kings expansion to AoE 2 took us by surprise, but to be fair, it was an expansion to the HD remake that was released in 2013 on Steam. That being said, it's rare to see HD remakes release one content pack, let alone two. The second expansion, Rise of the Rajas, is set to release on December 19th. Look out, Dishonored, you've got some competition. And it has quite a bit of content. Some of the additions from the expansion are four new civilizations, four new campaigns, new environments, and elephant units. It's pretty impressive to see the dedication to updating a game that released almost two decades ago, but maybe we'll see more in the future as well. Once again, the Rise of the Rajas expansion to Age of Empires 2 HD will be releasing on December 19th. And finally, Ubisoft has given us an early Festivus gift in the form of a For Honor story trailer and closed beta starting in January. The closed beta is only a small part of a bigger cross-platform competition called the War of the Factions. When you get access to the beta, you will pledge your sword to a specific faction and fight to win. It doesn't matter what heroes you play, all of your wins will contribute towards your faction's score. Not only do you get bragging rights and a reward for being part of the winning faction team, but everyone who joins the closed beta next month will also get an exclusive in-game reward for their participation. We've included a link to the For Honor closed beta signups in the description below, so make sure to sign up early if you want to be a part of the action in January. And that's it for today's big gaming news. Make sure to subscribe to us and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date on all the latest gaming news each and every day.